Welcome everyone to another devlog. This one is the second devlog of a game I'm making in Unity. If you haven't seen the first video, go check it out. It'll tell you a little bit about the game I'm making. I still don't have a name for the game, so if you have any ideas, let me know. Now with that out of the way, let's get to development. To start off development, I started working on the UI for the game. The player statuses are on the bottom of the screen. This tells which player is currently controlling and which hazards are selected. The hazard icons still need to be added to the game. Next, I did the player entries. This is the weird floating person at the beginning of the game. It reminds me of one of those machines that bring people downstairs. But don't worry, I'm going to fix it. I just have to add a stair animation to the character. The next feature in the game is the pickup system. This feature allows players to carry other players that are knocked down around the map. To do this, a player just simply presses the crouch key to pick up the player and then presses the crouch key again to drop the player. I had some problems implementing the system like this. Whee! And this. Woo! But after I got working, I was able to focus on the main goal of the pickup system. The goal of the player is to bring the picked up player to the chest to lock the player in. The chest mechanic will work like this. When a player drops someone in the chest, they pick the lock key for the chest. This is just simply one of the three buttons. Then on the turn of the locked player, they get to pick one of the three buttons to try to get out of the chest. If they get it wrong, they lose a turn. After I got that out of the way, I started working on the ability to go to other levels. For the map I'm working on, I'm thinking of having three levels. A main room, which is the one that you're seeing in the gameplay right now, and then a backyard, and then a front yard slash garage. To show this in action, I've completed the first two tasks on the main room. Then when I hit the door on the main room, I go to the other level, which is the backyard, for the next task. Lastly, there is now some art in the game. There is four characters that have art now, and there is art for most of the hazards in the main room. So going through it, you have the toast flying in, and then the sink, kind of in the background, and then the cabinet, which swings open. Then in the middle, you have the swinging light, then in the living room, you're going to have the remote laser, couch that flips up, that still needs art, and then the vacuum cleaner on the ground. To end off the video, I'm going to show you the kitchen that is now mainly done with the art. I got someone to do this art, and also this person did the art for the characters. I really like the art, and let me know what you guys think about it. So that's going to be it for development today. Let me know what you guys think about the game, and if you have any ideas I can put into the game. And I'll see you next time.